I'm okay. You're okay. I'm pretty okay as well. All right, cool. Yeah. Everyone's okay, and we hope you're okay as well. And if not, that you're at least okay with the gay. For a moment, you create infinity. The opportunity to go to undreamed of possibilities beyond anything you've even yet dreamed of, seen in the pictures, read in a book, or even had whispered into your heart. The good God has for you is beyond measure. If you honor the gift of your wholeness and the gift of love you've been given, which I am with. So I'm going to ask you, you know, you went first, I'll let you take. <laughs> Oops. Will you please place this ring on your beloved's third finger and repeat this word. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed, I be wed, and with it, and with it, I give to you, I give to you all the treasures, all the treasures of my mind, of my mind, my heart, my heart, and my hands. My hands. And if you would. Take your beloved string and place it on the third finger of his left hand. And if you would repeat, with this ring, with this ring, I be wet, I be wet, and with it, and with it, I give to you, I give to you, all the treasures, all the treasures of my mind, of my mind, my heart, my heart, and my hand. And my hand. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful. At the beginning of today's ceremony, two candles were lit to represent the unique and beautiful emanation of divine in David and in Michael, each one a whole and holy being of God, each one complete. And before you step forward and, and light the union candle as a symbol of that, we've asked a dear friend of yours to read the mystical expression of marriage because it's amazing. You're already whole, you're already complete, you're already fulfilled, and yet today you catapult yourselves into a mystery that wholeness and completeness becomes even more and that love and its joy expands to welcome new members and to bless everyone who knows you. Poets, Prophets speak better of the mystical realm than ministers do. So I'm going to ask your friend to read from Kilbil Gibran about the mystical aspect of marriage. Petra spoke again and said, And what of marriage, Master? And he answered, saying, You were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. I, you shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cups, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each of you be alone. Even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, 
and the oak tree and the cypress grow not into one another's shadows. <laughs> And so these candles were lit, your blessings have been given, and the words have been spoken. And your vision for an expanded family has already been declared to the universe. As a symbol that your loved one is joined creates even greater love, and yet do doesn't diminish the love you are, the love that you all shared one little bit. It just expands and will continue to expand. And this is the bliss and the joy of a unity candle. And a candle from time to time, should you ever forget, you just simply take a moment and relight it, and remember and take a breath, and it'll all come rushing back in. And so I just invite you as a symbol of love shared, keeps expanding to step forward and light the unity candle. stand here uh, committing and celebrating and speaking the words. They have felt the blessings of their family and friends. They have felt the anointing of the living Christ and God who blesses all good marriages and all lasting marriages. You have spoken the words that legally bind your lives together. And so it is a very real privilege under the authority vested in me by the great state of Washington to legally pronounce you husband and husband, legally married and forever living a life of love. You may kiss your beloved.